A lot of patients of spine, of back pain, sciatica pain come to us after receiving epidural injections. But they are still suffering from the same problems. Why does it happen? Normally, in such cases, we find faults at three levels. The number one fault is at the level of selecting the right patient for the right treatment. Many a times, epidural injections, selective nerve root blocks are being sold as a treatment to avoid spine surgery, which is actually a wrong practice. As we have discussed earlier also, epidural injections or selective nerve root blocks are not to avoid spine surgery. They are the right treatment for a subset of patients in which the disc damage is less than 50%, the spine alignment is normal and the nerve is not weak. If you fit into all these three criteria, the treatment for you is epidural injections, not the spine surgery. However, if you do not fall into this category, if the disc is damaged more than 50%, the nerve is weak, the alignment of the spine is bad, then doing a selective nerve root block will not do any good to you. And you may need the spine surgery done in the right manner to get back to your normal life. The second reason we see in such patient is the wrong technique. Sometimes person who has been doing it may not be well equipped with the specialization to deal with such conditions to administer the epidural injections in the correct manner. And when this happens, the results are not up to the mark. And finally, the third reason which is very common is identifying the pain generator for the problem properly. As we told you that the epidural injections, selective nerve root blocks work wonderfully on patients who have only and only pain because of the nerve compression. However, there are more than 33 nerves in the spine and each nerve can have a different role in the body they can cause different kinds of pain, they can cause different kind of disabilities. If the practitioner does not put injection on the right nerve in the right manner, then he may not be able to give you the correct result. And this most commonly happens because the MRI shows multiple discs are being damaged. Clinically, only one nerve is affected and the doctor is not able to identify the correct nerve to be blocked. So simply speaking, if the patient does not get a relief after epidural injection, it can be due to three reasons. First, epidural injections was not the right treatment for them. Second, it was the right treatment but was not done by the expert. And third, it was done by an expert, was the right treatment but the expert was not able to ascertain the correct nerve which was causing the pain. So for patients who have been suffering from such conditions, it's never good to lose hope by choosing the right specialist whose expertise is in this field. By getting the right technique, right treatment, they can still save themselves from a life of agony and pain and can live the life that they should be.